Welcome to a new episode of Leveraging Real Estate for Freedom. In this episode, we sent our property manager to do a lockout at one of our properties. Here's a fourplex and we have successfully evicted a tenant that lives in the last unit. This tenant has been living rent free for almost three years, right? Almost three years. Well, what is a lockout exactly? We have successfully evicted the tenant. The judge gave us a judgment. We take the judgment to the sheriff's office and the sheriff's office schedules an appointment for a deputy to go out there to the location of the property and to physically remove the tenant if she is still there and if she still won't leave. Our property manager is there to make sure that the property is properly secured so this way this squatter for slash tenant does not get back inside. Backstory about this tenant. I believe this tenant was placed by the previous property manager. So for every property manager, when they place a tenant inside a unit, they get what we call a tenant placement fee. I believe this property manager placed the tenant in without really doing his due diligence, making sure that this is a good tenant because from the first day that this tenant was placed, I don't think she ever paid rent, not a single month. And this tenant has been in this unit for about three years now. So I think she owed us about $20,000 a year and up to this point, a total of $60,000. She being the tenant received help from multiple government organizations. They paid off more than $40,000 of her debt. Last year, she couldn't get any more assistance with the government. And essentially we had to evict her and take the loss on this one. With that said, we went through the eviction process, evicted her, and got the unit back. Good morning, everybody. Michael Lim with Property Management. We're here at South Avenue, where we just had the sheriffs come out and do a eviction. So pretty much they came in, went through the door, took over the property, and now we're pretty much boarding up the property, and then we'll start renovations. Now, with the unit in our possession, if you guys take a look inside, the place is not in the best condition. Now we have to spend money to renovate it and hopefully after we're done with the renovations, we can lease this unit out to someone who will cherish it for what it is, right? This could be a home for a family. This could be a, a shelter for someone that's hardworking. I hope that someone like that will rent and lease this unit and take care of it and not trash it like these other tenants have done. As far as for renovations, I believe it's going to cost us between eight to $15,000 and we're going to upgrade all of the appliances. And our job is to renovate this unit so that someone can call it home. And then we're gonna go out there and with our new property management in place, they're going to find some responsible good tenants so that we don't have this heartache anymore. But other than that, hey, this comes with the territory. Do not let this type of stuff scare you away from you know, investing in real estate. I still believe that real estate is one of the best forms of investments in order to help someone obtain real long-term wealth and generational wealth. So all of these issues in the bigger picture, they're just drops in a bucket. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to our channel and follow us on all our social media platforms and watch us as we progress in our real estate investment journey. Cheers.